Welcome to Biologic Official. In this vlog, I am going to give you a brief idea about the phylum Ascalmenthes or Nematelmenthes. The term Ascus means round and Helminth means worm. So this is all about round worms. One important thing to remember that Ascalmenthes is no longer considered as phylum. It is now referred to as superphylum. Few phylums under this superphylum are Tardigrada, Acanthocephala, Rotifera, Nematoda, etc. These are the characteristics of the phylum Ascalmenthes. So first character, they are triploblastic. It means they have three body layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. They are pseudocilomate. Pseudocilomate means the silom, the structure of silom is like this. So you can see this is ectoderm, this is endoderm and this is mesodermic layer. Here in case of pseudocilomate, mesoderm is only present inside the ectoderm and there is no mesoderm on endoderm. If there is uh, another mesodermic layer on endoderm, it will be called true silomate or eucilomate. They are obviously bilaterally symmetrical and their body is round and cylindrical. That is why they are called round worms. Next characteristics, dart is complete with anus. In case of platyhelminthes, uh, we have seen there is no anus, but in case of ascalmenthes, the anus is present. Next character, uh, they have well-defined muscular and nervous system, but they lack circulatory system. Their excretory organ is a special kind of cell called Rennet cells, which is a H-shaped cell, like this. This is called Rennet cells. Next character, sexes are different, that is male and female. And last of all, absence of larval stages in life history. The examples include Ascaris lumicoides, Ucheria bancrofti, Loa Loa, Trichinella spiralis. If you have any questions or queries, you may leave your comment below. Thank you for watching.